So we got some positive and negative injury updates with our Baltimore Ravens and a lot more to talk about as well. Team, keep it clean. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single video or single update when it comes to our Ravens. Also, click the thumbs up button. Leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a lot. Trayvon Mullen, who last week he had to be carted off. They said that he went down awkwardly with a shoulder injury and Harbaugh said that he has to be evaluated before we knew uh, what his exact condition is uh, so we got it today we got an update today because John Harbaugh said that Trayvon Mullen will miss a few weeks with a shoulder injury so he didn't specify what type of shoulder injury but I don't really think it's that important because Harbaugh did give us a definitive timetable he said he'll be out for a couple of weeks so Harbaugh said a couple of weeks I'll give it three weeks. Nah, nah, you, we'll, we'll give it a couple weeks. Harbaugh been more, he been more accurate and been more, a lot more descriptive recently over the past couple of years when it comes to his timetables for players returning from injury. With Trayvon Mullen, it's tough. Um, with him missing any time, uh, it's tough. But him, even though that it's only going to be a couple of weeks, it's tough because, like we've talked about before, the secondary is loaded. It it is loaded, and especially like right now was such a a a, a good time for him to really be competing reason why because obviously marlon humphrey brandon stevens arthur Millett, nate wiggins lock tj tampa lock as well but with tj tampa he's been out he's on the physically unable to perform list so he plays corner with trayvon mullen with tj tampa being out you could have sco scooted your way on up in there uh, in a depth chart and really put on a show for the baltimore ravens defensive coaching staff to show them like hey like, I'm here, and I can make some noise in the secondary for the Ravens. But with him being out for a couple of weeks, that'll kind of make that a lot harder. So, hope with Trayvon Mullen, everything goes smooth. It's a nice recovery, and he can get back on the field very, very fast. Yesterday, it was said that Rashad Bateman and Tez Walker, they went down with injury. Harbaugh said that they left practice, but... He said that it was just soreness. That was it. It was soreness. No big deal. And they should be back soon. A lot of Ravens fans, they went at Rashad because you know how it goes already. I saw somebody say, oh, here we go. Now we're going to see Rashad Bateman injured throughout the entire season. And, and I get it. I, I get the frustration because there have been some patterns when it's come to injuries with Rashad Bateman. But this was just that so and Rashad Bateman even somebody commented on his Instagram and he said chill out it's, it's just soreness I'll be back so he let it be known that he is A-OK -okay and he did return today and Tez Walker Tez Walker he returned today as well now somebody who went down yesterday um was Deontay Hardy uh, Deontay Hardy unfortunately did not return yet so I'm not sure what the status with him is I'm not sure what's going on with Deontay Hardy right now um, but hopefully he can be back out there soon too. Now some injury news that is not so positive uh, was with Malik Ham. Uh, now we of course we did talk about Malik Ham yesterday being put on injury reserve. Harbaugh said he's going to miss the rest of the season, but we didn't know exactly what it was. Uh, but he cleared that up. He said Harbaugh said that Malik Ham has a clean ACL tear and he will miss the season. His time will be coming. Now what Malik Ham? He's somebody that the Baltimore Ravens, they have loved ever since they signed him as an uh, undrafted rookie free agent, I believe. And he's just somebody that I would think, okay, he's not going to make the roster. He's not going to stick around. And he would just continue to stick around with the Baltimore Ravens. They really had high hopes for Malik Hammond. They really respected and admired his game. That's why he continued to be with the Ravens. Uh, but now his season is officially over. And with this, with him being placed on injury reserve now, he can't come back. In order for anybody who's placed on injury reserve before the season starts to come back, they have to be placed on injury reserve on cut down day. That's very, very important to know and to remember. So Malik Ham, his season is officially done and he'll be able to compete next year as a Baltimore Raven. But for now, that's a wrap. Here we go again. Next question or comment came from my guy TJ. And y'all know how my guy TJ gets down. He don't play. He said, soft tissue issue? Please engraven. Tell our Ravens to go get Lamar a freaking guy at wide receiver. Like I said before, Bateman ain't it. Period. Go get your star QB who the heck he wants at wide receiver. Please. Mm. Now, um, I get your frustration. I, I, I get you being upset. Um, I, I get you being ticked off about the Baltimore Ravens and the way that they've treated the wide receiver position. I get the uncertainty. I, I get if you are worried about the Baltimore Ravens, 
wide receiver situation right now because it is something when you think about it, it's like, oof, like you, you don't want to think about certain things and certain aspects and certain things that could happen, but it's like it, it is in your mind for sure. Um, but really the only thing we can do is hope. <laughs> hope. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. With Zay Flowers, we know we're in good shape with Zay Flowers. And Rashad Bateman, we could be in good shape with him too, but now it's just a matter of putting it all together. It's a matter of putting it all together. He was a first-round draft pick a couple of years ago, and now it's time to deliver on that. This will be probably the – this will be, ever since he got drafted, the most playing time that he has gotten ever since he's been a first-round draft pick, since his rookie year. We look at guys like Hollywood Brown, first-round draft pick under Lamar Jackson. From jump, he was making an impact. And his tenor with the Baltimore Ravens, he made a big impact from jump. A lot more positive than negative. It did have some negative in there too, but Hollywood, he did his thing with the Baltimore Ravens overall. Then, of course, you look at Zay Flowers last year. Immediate impact, first-round draft pick at wide receiver. He made his impact like crazy. Rashad Bateman is the only one thus far, and it's only been three, but he's the only one thus far where it hasn't been like, boom, Rashad Bateman made that big impact as a first-round draft pick at the wide receiver position for the Baltimore Ravens. So hopefully in his case, it's one of those things where better late than never. Now today um, in the post practice presser, uh, it featured Brandon Stevens uh, and also Arthur Millette. And Arthur Millette, he gave us a nice little sound bite, a nice quote in reference to Patrick Queen. We know Patrick Queen obviously used to play for the Ravens and he did his thing with the Baltimore Ravens. His career started off a little bit shaky, just a little bit. But then once he got going, he really got going. And he was a good player, especially toward the end of his tenor in Baltimore. But then free agency came, and he headed on up the road to Pittsburgh. Arthur Millette, he has plenty of experience in Pittsburgh. He used to be a Pittsburgh Steeler, but he went the opposite way of Patrick Queen, and he became a Baltimore Raven. Now, Patrick Queen... He has had a lot to say this offseason about the Ravens, about Baltimore, about all of that stuff. He talked about how the food wasn't all that, the fishing wasn't all that. Like he, he was really like going in. It's like, did you really, have you really felt this way this whole time? Or are you just saying this, trying to add a little fuel to the fire? Either way, I, I'm cool with it either way because, again, it makes the Ravens-Steelers rivalry. It can make it a lot more fun because recently it's just been boring, in my opinion. But anyway, uh, Arthur Millette, he said, he responded to Patrick Queen. And said, um, PQ, we know the food is not better. We know the city is not better. Come on, man. <laughs> so, Arthur Millette doing a little, a little friendly. It's friendly trash talk to Patrick Queen. A little friendly back and forth. I'm sure we'll hear Patrick Queen's response within the next couple of days.